Hello guys, um, in today's video, I'm going to explain what's, what's the um, port forwarding is, uh, why do we use it, and um, when do we use it, right? So, I've created a simple diagram here. Um, let's say you got a three servers um, in, your, in, your, in, your, in your environment. One is the mail server that handles the email. One is the game server, let's say, and one is the um, web server that hosts the website, right? And uh, but uh, these are all connected to the router, but you've only got one public address because um, public uh, to get the public IP address you have to pay, right? So uh, let's say, and especially when you're at home, you don't have a public address, right? Um, but uh, if you want to host your own mail servers or gaming servers or any websites from your home, um, internally uh, your, your, your home servers uh, will receive the um, private IP address uh, because uh, as I said before that you cannot use the public IP address for free. So what happens is you usually get an IP address from your ISP, uh, which will be NATed, like NAT, there is a NAT process going on inside the router that will convert any of the public IP address to the uh, to the um, uh, private IP address and vice versa. So um, for the private IP address, uh, let's say if there is some um, internet user, let's say his name is. John, right? If John wants to join your your gaming server, or you, if he wants to visit your own website that is being hosted on your own premises, right? Without the public address, he cannot communicate with that web service, right? But with the help of the port uh, port forwarding, you can have certain settings within your NAT. Oh, sorry, within your router, and the router will um, um, will redirect any of the incoming um, incoming connection to this specific um, server like let's say the John wants to access the web server your website then you can simply um, simply add so the John has to John has to define the port so port means um, uh, there are multiple services running inside the inside one um, one server uh, so um, the port is what um, is allocated for each of the services so whenever the external um, um, external PC tries to connect with that specific service that port will um, respond back to the client right so in case of our web server let's say um, the client John wants to connect to your website he has to define the port. So whenever the whenever the router will receive any of the incoming connection from John that has defined um, that has uh, defined that I want to access to port 80, then uh, it will forward um, the the requested IP address to the web server, right? Because um, because this is the web server that handles. Any incoming website um, website um, queries. So just to demonstrate, I'm gonna go to the my virtual machine. So um, I have created uh, a Windows Server, which for the sake of this um, tutorial, I have already installed the um, the uh, IIS, the web hosting service, in the Windows Server. So as you can see, I have already installed the Internet. Uh, information service manager IS. So if I go to the local host, uh, or I can even uh, type in my IP. So it's my 192.168.192.168.1.2. Right? As you can see, the website is running. Right? Um, just to make uh, some add some changes on the website. Um, just gonna go to PC C in pub um, root 
and I'm going to make some changes on this file. Just gonna say, let's say in the body and let's say H1 bank, this is, and let's say, welcome, welcome to the Technotrouts. And so if I save this and if I try to load this page again, yep, as you can see, the changes, right? But this website is not public yet. You cannot access this website from outside of the world. However, what I can do is I can change the settings in the router and uh, define over there. I'm going to show you. So to access your router, you can simply go to the command prompt and type in ipconfig. It will show the default gateway. Usually the default gateway is your router. Um, if that's not the case, you might have to you know, have to move, uh, dig in more deeper. But in my case, it's the router, so I'm just going to go to the 192.168.1.1 and I'm going to type in the password. Uh, so, yep, as you can see, it's logged in and I'm going to hit the advanced, the net forwarding and virtual servers, right? So I'm going to add a new settings over here and I'm going to scan for the so this is the HTTP protocol, right? The web server. If it was a secure, then it's not sec secure. If it, if it was a secure, then it, I should have selected the HTTPS, which is not defined here. It's I think it's running the port number 443. Uh, port number. Yeah, port 443. For, but for now, I'm just going to choose the HTTP, which is going to run at 80. So what I have to define is whenever the router received the information regarding um, the AT like so any IP incoming IP has a AT port number tagged alongside the IP I'm going to forward the IP to this virtual machine this PC uh, that is uh, 192.168.1.2 right? so 192.168.1.2 so I'm going to save that so that's my settings so what I'm gonna do is now, so I'm gonna go outside. So, um, as I mentioned before, uh, this is a virtual machine. So, when I try to, it's gonna go to cognito, and what I'm, I'm going to check my um, IP address first, right? So I'm going to check my IP address. Uh, IP address. What is my public IP? Um, let's wait for a second. Yep, that's my public IP address. Right, that is being netted on the router. So I've copied it. And let's say someone from the outside of the world is trying to access the um the 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 um my website but default it won't be able to access it okay there's some caching i think because i tried it before so whenever you tried it with more with the 80 as you can see that um it's going to redirect the 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 in, any incoming traffic to this virtual server so that's my server, right? that's your website. Um, hope that makes sense. Thank you for watching the video guys.